I want to bring in Chris Nash on this. He's the president of the Alberta Motor Transport Association and retired Major General Matt Quinn. He's the head of Montana's COVID-19 task force. Hello to both of you and thank you for your time. Do you know each other? <laughs> well, we do. Uh, <laughs> we've spent a couple uh, times on uh, Zoom calls with each other trying to coordinate this event. It's been great so far. Fantastic. That's what we want to hear. So, Chris, let's begin with you, with your feelings on this arrangement. How did this get worked out? Uh, we were absolutely thrilled to have this collaborative solution starting today. Um, it started with actually myself reaching out to our uh, counterparts and motor carriers in Montana, uh, who got these good folks at government together to come to this solution. Major General, why did Montana want to help out your Canadian neighbours? Well, we're neighbors. I think that uh, that says it all. It's always been a great relationship between Alberta and Montana. And if there's one way that we can help uh, our uh, fellow neighbors, we'll do it through vaccines. So, Chris, how is this happening? How are Alberta truckers getting their jabs? Well, the good news is uh, we have about 800 folks that cross the border every day, commercial drivers. That's uh, American and Canadian. So the ability to pull in, the, the great part about it is it's uh, no appointment necessary from 8 o'clock till 8 p.m. for the next 14 days in the northern tip of Conrad. Uh, drivers will be able to pull in and receive their vaccination. And, and even better, it's a one-stop shopping. There's no second dose. So just the convenience and the ability to do this, we, we're thanking our partners down there for making this happen. And Chris, what are you hearing from the truckers about this initiative? Well, we've been hearing from a lot of carriers when they did hear this startup in North Dakota and, Mon and Manitoba that uh, this was something they were interested in. And again, the importance of a strong and resilient supply chain, uh, especially now and into the recovery, is going to be key. So the sooner we can get our folks uh, vaccinated on the front line, the better. Major General, talk to us more. Uh, Chris mentioned that truckers, many of them go back and forth every single day. Can you tell us what a more open border would mean for Montana? Well, I think certainly for the trade, both uh, into Montana, but into the rest of the United States as well as Canadian truckers come south. And then also for Montana truckers. And that's why the Montana Trucking Association uh, was a part of this uh, agreement as well. And uh, just to help that cross-border traffic. And Major General, would you like to see, I kind of know the answer to this, but I'm assuming you'd like to see that border reopen, fully reopen sooner rather than later. Well, I sure would. I think, uh, you know, as Montanans want to venture into Canada and Canadians come down here to Montana, it'd be good to get uh, more people vaccinated and get that border back open. And Chris, we all know that Alberta is hit really hard right now with the number of positive cases. How will these vaccines help the situation, do you think? Well, you know what? The, the more Albertans with a quick, efficient access to vaccines, the better. Uh, while the pandemic certainly impacted the province, uh, having a solution like this to keep commercial drivers protected while they keep the supply chain moving safely and efficiently includes a delivery of necessities like vaccines. So with help, Albertans continue to receive the necessities they need to live their lives now and into the recovery. So it's just a, a key point uh, to getting us to the other side. Well, it is certainly great to see neighbours helping neighbours. Chris Nash, really appreciate it. Retired Major General Matt Quinn, all the best to both of you. Thanks so Thanks much. much.